Greater trochanteric pain syndrome is an umbrella term for pain located on the lateral side of your hip or the outer portion of your hip. It used to be called trochanteric bursitis. A bursa is simply a fluid-filled sac used to reduce friction between tissue layers, between two tendons or between bone and tendon. As the tendons rub together, inflammation can set in and we call this a bursitis. There are many bursa located over the lateral side of the hip. Any, any one of them could be the cause of the pain. We now know that there are many other culprits that could be causing the pain on the lateral side of the hip. The gluteus minimus tendon and the gluteus medius tendon both extend from the buttock region and insert on the greater trochanter located on the lateral side of the hip. Partial tears or inflammation in this tendon sheath can cause pain in the area without an underlying bursitis. Additionally, a snapping sensation can be felt over the outside of your hip, and it's more apparent when you're climbing stairs or any motion with hip flexion. This is caused by the gluteus maximus tendon or the proximal iliotibial band as it travels back and forth over the greater trochanter, increasing the friction. Symptoms of greater trochanteric pain syndrome include pain on the outer, outside of your hip. It's often worse with pressing in the area, climbing stairs, or lying on the affected side. Treatment for greater trochanteric pain syndrome include treating the inflammation. Anti-inflammatory medication, either orally or topically, can often reduce inflammation in the area. Treatment of greater trochanteric pain syndrome includes treating the inflammation with either oral or topical non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. Corticosteroid injections guided towards the pathology identified on ultrasound imaging can also address the inflammation. It is important to follow this up with a course of physical therapy to address any biomechanical or muscle imbalances to prevent recurrence of the symptoms. If physical therapy and anti-inflammatory medications fail to improve the symptoms, regenerative medicine techniques can be used for refractory cases. These include tenotomy, prolotherapy, or platelet rich plasma injections. It is also important to recognize the greater trochanteric pain syndrome can develop while trying to compensate for another injury, such as osteoarthritis of the hip, sacroiliac joint dysfunction, or low back pain. Sometimes by treating this underlying disorder, greater trochanteric pain syndrome can improve with little direct treatment.